Hi, good morning, and welcome to today's products in focus. So I'm going to look at the US there. You can see we had a slight reversal yesterday, bouncing off potential support at 17,747. Uh, with any rebound, looking at 18,112 being the next potential resistance. We do have the 21 period SMA moving up quite nicely behind this market, but we had a failure to break the previous high there on Friday, which might set a precedent of lower highs. So it looks to be the 17,747 could be an interesting potential springboard, or if you're on the short side, that could be a breakout point looking at 17,561. So then moving on to UK 100, UK 100 recovering uh, a tiny little bit this morning after two days of negativity there on Friday, again yesterday, off the session lows as uh, commodities managed to stage a late in the session comeback, mainly driven by West Texas crude that managed to have a bounce after Saudi Arabia said that they might do something to support prices. Very, very wishy-washy, but it was one of the main oil ministers that said that. Um, crude basically went from uh, 39.60 back up to 41. So. It's not like an unbelievable jump, but it was enough just to cause uh, you know, mining and oil related indices to get a little bit of a shot in the arm. So I think uh, the Australian 200, oh, actually it's slightly down at the moment, but uh, UK 100 is managing to just get a slight little bit of green today. But 6300 is a potential um, pivot point level where it could act as resistance, could act as support. We just need to see what happens over in the US. So moving on to Japan 225, grinding ever uh, closer to 20,087. Uh, Japan market gapped higher to start the session, uh, ended up lower, end, ending lower on negative day. We've had a little bit more of a green candle this morning. Um, still not that far away from the session highs actually. So 20,087 still in scope. Then looking at the dollar yen. So the dollar has been getting a decent run up until recently. Uh, as in it came off yesterday late in the session, you can see we had this big spike. Dollar yen is an interesting example. A big spike higher, uh, got pushed all the way back down again. The bear is fine, firmly in control. And uh, that sends quite an interesting technical signal. It didn't end up in the red, uh, which would have been an even worse signal to be fair. But it's not a, not a very beautiful looking candle if you're on the long side. Um, and the fact is that dollar yen is also on the back foot just now. So a lot of people talking about, is December really going to happen uh, for liftoff? considering the disarray in the rest of the world markets. And you've even got the next ECB meeting next week on Thursday on the 3rd of December. Um, and that's, that's going to be interesting because a lot of traders do believe that's going to be uh, the next fresh round of quantitative easing. Uh, and dollar yen's not really acting the way you would expect it to if the US were going to raise rates in December while the ECB were going to embark on more QE. In fact, it's bouncing a little bit. It's gone from 106 up to 106. 40 already this morning. Now I'm not going to say the trend isn't good because the, tre the trend is terrible actually, but you might have expected further downside momentum if there was a little bit more confidence in that regard. And the fact is the US dollar is reversing course this morning even against the Japanese yen, which isn't exactly the strongest currency out there either. Could be a head and shoulders formation developing on that FX pair. So moving on to West Texas crude, a very strange candle. It was much lower. We were trading below the $40 bounced higher off the session highs and we're grinding a little bit more this morning. If we get above $42, it'd be kind of impressive uh, considering the type of candles here are showing listless movement. Longer term potential support is still 3750. President of Venezuela was warning on a $20 barrel of oil and the impact that would have, not in the short term, but longer term as exploration gets turned off. And uh, you have a short term uh, drop in the oil prices, but then a reduction in supply. So we'll see what happens as time goes on. So looking at gold, yellow metal is still bouncing around uh, 1,072. Not much else to report at the moment. It was down yesterday. It's going a little bit higher today. Not really that much exciting directional moves. Euro dollar. It was lower yesterday. Managed to uh, make up a lot of lost grounds. Uh, it's doing pretty much nothing this morning. Long term potential support still 1.0524. Uh, the question is what's going to happen with this next as it gets flat. There's a few bits of uh, Eurozone data. You've got German uh, Business Sentiment Index. You've got GDP in the US, uh, and that's at 1.30 UK time. And then you've got CCI at 3 uh, p.m. UK time. And if you finish up with cable, now cable had itself a pretty bad day on Friday, rubbishy day on Monday. It's had a modest bounce this morning, but nothing too extravagant, if I'm completely honest. One spot 51.73 is a potential resistance. Though I probably want to even redraw that and just bring that back to here. 
and that maybe gives you an idea. That works actually a little bit, a little bit nicer. That gives you an idea of where the bounce is. That's at one spot 51.10, uh, with the next potential support after that being at one spot 50.27. So let me just save that now. Okay, so that gives you the idea of what uh, economic data to expect on Tuesday. On Wednesday, we've got uh, durable goods and employment data from the US and finishing up there with your crude oil inventories, which will be useful if you're trading West Texas crude. So guys, keep your eye on the chart forum, make insights part of your layout going forward, and join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next.